Hello guys, thanks for coming back to Finance Lingo channel. Uh, this time I'll be sharing with you guys uh, what is a cash trading account and what is the promotion ongoing and what is so attractive about it this time. So, uh, my similarly, I'll start off with that uh, this video is for information only and does not constitute a recommendation and offer or solicitation to subscribe or purchase any investment product mentioned herein. All right, let's go. Let's start. So here we have here is a uh, recent promotion. We started off for two zero one seven by Philips Capital. So they are offering a cash trading account at a minimum of ten dollars brokerage fee, at, and they charge a point one two percent. So this is the lowest I have ever seen offered to retail customers in my past ten years. Yes, I uh, want to say that is offered to retail customers and i've never seen such rates uh, and this is very attractive and it's so attractive that i actually try and rush out to a presentation for you guys to explain what's going on so all right i'll begin with the optimal investment point for this uh, cash trading account is a cash prepaid investment custodian account so what is this account about? So I'll begin off with this um, this optimal investment point graph for this cash prepaid account. So alright, just let me okay. Here it is. So this uh, on this Excel sheets on the left column is uh, brokerage rates. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna enlarge this. This is the by the rate as the the rates charged to the account. So this on this column here we have the capital of investment. So and uh, this is the brokerage rate charges and this is the sum of the two brokerage charges. Because we have a present buy, there will be a future sell. So add up, we are looking at twenty dollars. So here we have this is the rate table. So um, just for us, uh, I'll draw two cases. So assuming this guy invests at $1,000, uh, he pay a $10 fees for the buy and $10 fees for the sell, add up your $20. When use this $20 divided by this $1,000, the cost of investment before the uh, investment investor is able to make any profit is looking at 2%. Hence, let's say you are looking at $2,000 of investment. Uh, for twenty dollars fees, uh, the investor need to make only more more than one percent, and he can make profits from then on. So, uh, the second percentage or the third percentage going forward is the all the profit goes to the investors. So, when we use this green uh column here and we plot against the graph, this is the graph we derive. So, what we can see here at one thousand uh, dollars. Of cost of investment is only two percent at two thousand dollars. The cost of investment is only one percent. So, uh, at three thousand dollars, the cost of investment is really only 0.75. So, what we can say here is that in simplicity, okay, uh, the investors need only to make one percent or more, okay, to break even. One percent to break even. So I'll say this is very attractive. Uh, usually, uh, it's usually around two or three percent for two for two thousand dollars of investment. So as we can see from this graph, you can realize that this actually can get uh, flatter as the cost of investment amount goes up. So as well, we can see here around three thousand five, the investor really need only to make 0.5 percent. Uh, stock market sometimes go up by two or three percent a day. So yes, 0.5 percent is what it makes takes the investors to make a profit. So uh, investors can even now look at in, with a small capital to start off with two, as low as $2,000 to make to make investment in stock market. So yes, this is very attractive. So uh, remember the time where I was talking about the uh, normal cash management account. So this is a graph of the cash management account. As what we can see here, investors need to make uh, invest around $4,000 at, at 1% point. To make a uh, profit so hence for this uh, cash prepaid custody account the investors need only two thousand dollars of investment and with one percent they can easily make profit and uh, based on my experience I'll say this is very easy to achieve in the stock market so why I say that let's take a REITs for example real estate investment trust a lot of investors know is 
very easy obtain five percent so five percent for uh, per annum so with five percent you just need a minus of one percent for the fees uh, you can make four percent easily so this is very attractive so i've never seen such attractive rates in my past 10 years and this is the first time philip is offering that um it could, there's a few reasons it could be that they are in preparations to move the singapore markets going forward or uh, similarly because of globalization things is completing at a global scale um but largely what i understand uh, they are first going to compete with local house and and compete like to the foreign house and secondly is that this uh cash prepaid account uh it's very likely that it will be the futures common most preferred accounts going forward and is there's a lot of obvious signs that's why i can see so all right so apart from that so what i have for you guys is uh uh so what, what is the i think you guys may be worried or uh, is there any cash to it so i'll bring you guys to this uh, prepare account info sheet okay this is the cash prepare account info sheet so, so what is this account about all right unlike the normal account whereby you need to you actually buy the shares and make payments a few days later this account you need to fund the account with money first before you can make purchases yes this is prepaid that means you pay first then you buy later on so another thing is that the shares is held and the philip custody all right this is held by the philip interest so um, um the shares will not be kept in your cdp but of course the rates is so attractive um whether it's kept in cdp or not it really doesn't matter but of course, if you have bid for shares in the IPO, you need a cash management account to sell the shares. Cash prepaid account is not linked to the CDP. I need to reiterate that. So, um, as for the dividends, the right dividends will be paid back to your trading account. So you guys will need to know, be familiar with uh, how to withdraw funds from your cash trading account and put it into your bank. It's very simple. There's a one minute things you can learn it. It's that simple, right? so uh next the rest i um, i think that you guys will not be that interested to know while well, you guys can read through this all right so on this page two um to me there's nothing much of a concern on page two to you guys you guys can read through it later on all right page three here okay this is the part whereby you guys will be really interested to know what's going on because it says a lot of fees and charges so let's start off with this first one quarterly maintenance charges all right based on my understanding philip will be waiting off all these fees for a very prolonged period of time uh we have so, uh, okay i've checked with my uh, existing customers account there, there there isn't such fees charged to their account and they have not charged them for several months and many months so um philip will wave off this and very likely they are going to waste all this for a very prolonged period of time all right so it's uh they just can literally almost ignore this all right so but if you do have any fees on this just let me know uh so far none of my customers experience this secondly is the custodian fees okay so for singapore shares all right singapore shares there is no custodian fees this is not applicable to singapore shares so yes philip uh have emailed officially to a lot of brokers telling us that uh they officially have a uh, wave of all will wave off all the custodian fees on his cash prepare account until uh to mid 2017 and it's expected to extend for a very prolonged period of time for one year two years or maybe three years or even more so uh this is not a concern for local shares but likewise if you use this trading account to buy foreign shares let's say us china shares hong kong you need to be aware that there is this custodian fees right which is charged on two dollars and 14 cents per counter per month so what does that mean if you have one shares or worth of microsoft they'll charge you two dollars and 14 cents if you have one million worth of microsoft shares likewise they will also only charge you two dollars and 14 cents so uh if okay so let's say if you have you use this account to do some frequent trading which uh to me i think this will get a lot of attention um let's say you have two trades in the quarter for in that month okay sorry in that month uh they wave off this uh custodian fees 
let's say you have 50 different companies of uh, shares in your cash prepaid account so long you make two trades per month in that account they will wave it off it's, it's very easy you won't buy and one sell done you can easily wave it off but of course uh, uh i'm not certain if they're going to maintain this but nonetheless i believe that they're going to wave this off for a prolonged period of time so honestly this is really not the main concern with me so next we are let's look at the cash dividends okay this uh some people may be you know concerning about 1% charge on dividend let's say you have a uh, hundred dollars of a dividend Singapore dollars uh, credited into this trading account okay so they will charge you one dollars and seven cents so is it a concern I would say no because uh, when I look at that just now what we can see right so they are from the normal 18 or 25 dollars you have literally eight dollar different in the uh, brokerage fees so um, it for the eight dollar difference, uh, you know, even if you charge you eight dollars, it's not gonna make a difference. It will come out the same, but um, it gives you a pretty good opportunity to get started with a very low capital. So uh, honestly, this is seriously not a concern to me, because uh, let's say you have received two times of fifty dollars a month, and they're gonna charge you only two dollars, and you can get to start learning investment from a very small capital as compared to the past and i see that this is what the market is moving okay so this is not a concern to me so and um, what's another thing is that this uh, ten dollars and seventy cents what is this about this is for the corporate actions let's say this company want to issue a rights and give you rights or bonus shares and, and send a letter to you to decide if you want to receive the rights or sell the rights or whatsoever okay um yes there will be a fees which is quite hefty as compared to the rest Alright, this will not be most of the time. I do not see them waving this off because this, there's a lot of administration here going on. So, uh, because what is what's going on? Because let's say the company send you documents to exercise the rights or let you go for AGM or whatever, then uh, you need to reply back. So the Philip back office will need to uh, handle and consolidate all the documents and send it back to the respective houses. So uh, there's a lot of administration here on here. Over this part, because uh, so I don't see any likely reasons, but personally, I do not see this instance happening very often, so I do not see much of concern here, given that how much uh, fees uh, they have actually reduced down over the years. So this is really very shocking right now. I need to read that ten or twenty years ago, their stock market is charging one percent. Yes, a whopping one percent on trades. Now it's point one two due to technological changes. So yes, this is what we are moving forward to. So, all right. So with, to summarize off here in this call, this first uh, first table, this first row, uh, it's not a concern because they are waving it off. Second row, uh, if you are buying a Singapore shares, not a concern. Only when you use it when you use it to buy foreign shares, yes, you might need to take note of this. So as for cash dividend, it's very small. Uh, for small investors, this is a fantastic opportunity to get started. As this one percent is really insignificant because it does say very often you're going to receive dividends about thirty dollars or fifty dollars. For me, about hundred dollars each time. This uh, one dollar fees really is insignificant because I can really save on the brokerage fees. And likewise, you remember earlier the optimal investment point that we are looking at. We are looking at a low investment amount at one percent to break even. That's how low we are looking at. So this is not a concern as well, and it's only for this thing. And this is very, uh, this such instance of corporate action seldom happen. But once it happen, uh, well, we got to pay this kind of fees. Uh, as far as we know, we do not want to see this kind of situation. Uh, likewise, I, I honestly I hate corporate actions, uh, unless they give me a lot of, uh, let's say bonus issue, then fantastic, that'll be good. So okay. So as for these documents, how where can you get these documents? I'm going to show you how I get these documents. Okay, you guys just need to go to this Philip website, click products and services over here. All right, then click the stock and shares. All right. Then scroll down, look for the cash prepaid account. All right, you found it. Then you scroll down further. There's this info sheet. Click over here. And voila, you have access to these documents. All right so okay so next uh, i'm going to highlight to you guys what is the sort of catchy about this uh, cash prepaid account so apart from single market this is very attractive for foreign market as well 
So let's take a look. This is the rates that they are charging for, for other foreign market on cash prepaid account. So let me uh, bring up some things to you guys. So what I have here, okay, is that I have captured this role, uh, this table. Okay, and then I copy it onto this Excel sheet. Okay, it's the same thing, same data, what, what we see here. And I actually put the Forex conversion table here on this uh, column. And I convert all this to SING so I know what is the SING dollar base that actually I'm paying uh, generally. So what we see here is that the China, Hong Kong, Thailand, Indonesia, Japan and Turkey. Alright, the brokerage rate had came down very significantly. Uh, personally, I felt that uh, United Kingdom and Australia is still quite a concern to me because I'm not a big investor. So uh, for trading, I find that Singapore says is uh, fantastically attractive, crazy cheap. And it's a very good chance for those traders want to be to start trading in this kind of cash trading account because times have really changed. So I do not see any reasons why, uh, I mean, if you guys want to trade in a CFD account or cash management account. So I'll, if I'm a trader, uh, unleveraged trading, I will really go for this cash trading account. Because it's uh in the past is everything twenty five dollars or eighteen dollars, so if you have really have the cash and you want your leverage, well, just go for ten dollars. And but of course, this account the flaw is that uh you need to have the money account first before you can even buy anything. So, right. So this is ten dollars. So uh, it's very attractive. Uh, so apart from that, you guys uh can start to diversify into China, Hong Kong, and Thailand and Japan as well. But on a personal note, I would like to tell my Singapore uh, investors, all right, do start looking into this China and Hong Kong, or sometimes you want Thailand if you want to uh, start learning how to invest in these markets. And uh, given such low brokerage rate, yes, you guys should really start into start looking into that. Why is that so? Uh, reason being Hong Kong. Uh, I have did my analysis on Hong Kong and China markets. Hong Kong is belonging to China right now, and a lot of very huge China companies is listing in Hong Kong and the uh, United States as well. So, uh, going forward, uh, a lot of analysis apart from myself, uh, we are uh, came to a very common uh, vision is that China or I can say Hong Kong uh, the markets will be equivalent in size or even larger than the United States yes we are talking about larger than the United States so if you do not want to be entering the Hong Kong market early I worry that uh, you might be a little bit late because Hong Kong uh, for instance the banks is even 10 times or 5 times bigger than DBS we have in Singapore so um, I would like to urge all my Singapore investors to start looking in Hong Kong at least uh, for my uh, US and China. So coming back to this United States, what's so unique about this United States? Okay, this $20 flat really means $20 flat. All right, so let's say if you were to buy $20 worth of US dollar shares, yes, the company will charge you 20 USD. But okay, let's say you would buy hundred thousand USDs or maybe two hundred thousands. Okay, yes, they will charge you USD twenty dollar flat administrative fee. Okay, so this is in contrast. Let's say you use it to buy one million worth of shares or one million worth of house. They are only going to charge you twenty dollar administration fee. How cool is that? Is a point zero 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 one percent or whatever? Just how low the market is trading it. Be trading is right now there's a fee this i mean that's how low the fees is because the market is very competitive in the market right now uh due to technology changes so this is what we're looking at and a lot of people have been using um, the online trading to trade frequently to, to make tiny profits you probably can make two, two times one percent run one overnight or two times two percent one overnight in all these markets due to this low brokerage fees so uh a lot of my investors are using this cash prepaid account to trade US and uh, I'm also, also starting to promote them with such low fees previously it was 18 now it's 10 uh, uh, even taking on the custodian fees or whatever the savings is really exponential as compared to the normal ones and some of the discussion with my other brokers uh, yes this is what Singapore is moving 
because we do notice that Hong Kong market is about 10 times larger than Singapore given the fact that uh, we are our land size is about the same right so uh, this is very shocking of what we are looking at because Hong Kong is offering a very low rates as well so all right that's the, for the rates so this cash prepaid account is very attractive so to all my investors out there, uh, if you uh, if you want to start investing uh, in Singapore markets with this cash prepaid account, do let me know. Uh, so uh, we'll come to the end of this video. So if you want to start investing in Singapore shares or any of the markets shown there, and tap on the promotional cash prepaid account trading, okay, you can drop me an email, uh, give me a call at this number. We can arrange a meetup and we'll do a documentation for my as for those existing customers, if you have uh, interested to open this account, do let me know. I'll send you the forms. It's very simple forms. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's all for my emails. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. If you have any questions, just drop me an email. So, that's all for today. So, see ya.